So it's part four already, and today we'll be talking about how to accept a transient. This guide is also available on teletness.com in a rating format. Accepting a client on limbs is as easy as just clicking a single button. The real problem is when you want to know what care was given to the client before you decide to accept or decline the transfer. So we are going to go into that first. Let's look at how to accept a transfer and then we'll look at how to conduct checks before accepting a transfer. It all begins at the control panel as usual. So let's first click our IPD management and then locate the button transfer acceptance transfer acceptance now you'd want to filter to your word so that you can have only the transfers for your word and then search all right so that is them here so it's just as easy as clicking the green button that is called accept transfer that's all the client is accepted it's as easy as that So the ringers is charted, which means I'm not supposed to find it here. The dextrose is not charted. Did you bring dextrose for that book? Oh, it's not charted. I bet this one is also in the freeze my that was in there. Mm. Now I have to document which drugs I didn't find. Mm. Okay. You have said he is on top of him. We have to him. He is on top of him. That's it. Okay. Madam. Please be what B. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We are not supposed to save any of them now. This is the top We will give us two here. And then. Be more to the same thing. Okay, so let me write it on the board. That's for afternoon start. Usually on limbs, nurses are giving access to every ward in a hospital. So once you receive a transient request, you can decide to check through whatever that was done for the patient before you accept. What you have to do is to filter the nurse's station to the particular ward that is doing the trans out. So I work at the children's ward, but then if the person is coming from the emergency ward, I can simply filter, select ward, select the emergency unit, and then I search. I'm going to have a list of all the clients at the emergency unit and then I can visit their AM to check whatever I want to check before I go back to accept the client. So maybe you don't have that access and yet you want to see some of the details about the client. You won't be able to get to the AM of the patient, but at least you will see some things. So from the dashboard here, 
this particular search patient search view you can actually search using the name or whatever parameters that are indicated here but i prefer using the patient's number because when i search it is the only thing i'll find so take the patient's folder number and search the number once the search is complete you are going to be greeted with this screen now confirm to make sure that this is the name of the client you are looking for and then come to the end of the search results under record click this view view button so you be given access to uh, the patient's record these are some of the records you get here the admission history encounters created so over here even if the person had some labs they will show and the various vital signs that we're taking patients encounter details the prescription various prescriptions that were given the, the patient you should be able to see the diagnosis helper where you find the diagnosis of the patient and other details so you can actually use this patient record to also view some of the details even if you don't have access to the patient's AM. However, sometimes you may want to accept a transfer, but the bed will be occupied. Those doing the transfer are those who select the bed to put the patient on. So when they get to the ward and on the system, the bed is occupied, you will not be able to accept the transfer.